Yo, I'm Bob, in the Masters of the Universe. Going to be unboxing another action figure from the Origins toy line for Mattel. Uh, more specifically, the Cartoon Collection subline. So this is another of Skeletor's Evil Warriors, Trapjaw. <laughs> Not Flapjaw, but Trapjaw. So... He was always one of my favorite characters. I remember my brother describing him when we were watching uh, the episodes and reruns on the USA Network back in 1990. Set this mini comic aside here. I keep saving the mini comics because I just think they're neat. Uh, let me see, hopefully there is nothing that is going to fall out of this package here. It looks like everything's in there pretty well. Come on. There you go. Another big bulky figure here. So, yeah, he's got, I think, several arm attachments since he is a cyborg. Skeletor's Wizard of Weapons. There he is in this figure tree. I'm going to pause this, break him out, and we'll have a closer look. So, back in the blink of an eye. Alright, Trapjaw's out of the packaging. So he's... Well, he's a cyborg. I think that's why he was one of my favorite characters. I like his steel jaw. So, it kind of moves up and down a little bit. I'm glad that it really doesn't have that much articulation because, you know, a lot of times when you get action figures with articulated mouths, you know, that jaw might be loose and in a permanent open position. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, it does what it needs to do, I think. So he has some Eternium, according to the Big Bad Toy Store box contents there. That's an episode-specific accessory from uh, from the 80s tune. I like that he comes with this. Although he can't stick it in his mouth or anything like that. But it's nice that he you know has something to hold there. And so, yeah, since he is a cyborg, he's got this cannon for an arm there. And he can replace that with more attachments. He only comes with one other, which we'll take a look at in a second. So in the 80s tune, he was voiced by Lou Scheimer. Like his design, just a real big bulky guy with a robotic arm and a steel jaw. I'd hate to be bitten by him. So I'm going to pop this cannon arm off here. So he's got another attachment. Attach that on here. So I hear in the tune, he's got, you know, more than just two attachments, but all we get are the gun arm, and then he has a hook that you can replace. You can attach that right onto his robotic arm there. So he's got two attachments. I think he's got a claw as well in the cartoon. So it would have been cool if we'd gotten the claw. Yeah, he's just got two attachments that he comes with. I don't think he has a regular um, robotic arm with five digits. I, I guess I was under the impression that, you know, he kind of had something like that, a regular robotic hand uh, to grab onto things. But nope, he's just got his, his gun attachment and his hook attachment. So he can use both of those. Hopefully I didn't miss anything in the packaging. He just comes with the Eternium, the hook, the gun. Uh, he's got that steel jaw that, you know, kind of moves up and down. I'm glad that, you know, it, it's not super loose or anything like that. I think I'll just leave it in the, uh, the open position there. I mean, you really can't move it up and down that much, but I like that there is just a little bit of movement there. There he is from the back. So he's got a little um, slot on the back of his belt where you can attach 
whichever weapon he's not using. So I give him a 10 out of 10. This is the uh, the first trap jaw action figure I've ever owned. And I got to say, I like how he comes out, how he came out, actually. Sorry. Stick this gun arm back on. I think the gun attachment is my favorite piece. I think interesting that he comes with a hook, too. That I feel like he could have used that claw that, uh, from what I'm seeing online, other versions of Trapjaw had come with. I would imagine he probably has uh, his gun attachment on more frequently than, uh, than the hook, though. He can rotate that and all kinds of stuff. So I like his, uh, that his gun arm, you know, he could fire various types of lasers in the cartoon, like a freeze ray, um, things like that, depending on the situation that he was in. Anyway, that'll do for this figure review. Really awesome design for Trapjaw. And really awesome that the cartoon collection gives us episode-specific accessories, because he... You know, he ate the Eternium, he was as strong as He-Man for a time. So, yeah, the episode-specific accessories in the Cartoon Collection subline uh, really fascinate me. So glad that he comes with <laughs> just, a big, just a big crystal there. Till next time, guys.